as this original franchise in the United States honors the memory and the tremendous life of Milt Schmidt, number 50. And hello again, everybody. High above the ice, alongside Andy Brickley with Sarah Davis at ice level. I'm Jack Edwards. Milt Schmidt passed on at uh, the age of 98, just a couple of months short of his 99th birthday, Brick. And uh, I found the, the words of uh, Rudyard Kipling's epic poem, If, echoing through my head. If, of course, uh, Kipling's tome that uh, honored the ideals of what it was to be a man. And, and the special verse that, that came to me was, if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor friends can hurt you. <laughs> if all men count with you, but none too much. Now that was Milt Schmidt. Everybody counted. Everybody was part of his joy of life. And he wanted to know what made you joyful in life. And he made you feel better just for having that connection, even if it was only 15 or 20 seconds. Yeah, that was the amazing and rare quality of uh, Milt Schmidt. I mean, obviously the ultimate Bruin and the accomplishments on the ice and what he did as a coach and as a general manager, well, those are well documented, but it's really the, the personal touch that he had uh, with everybody, to a person, not just to a player, not just to a fan, but to everybody that came in contact with Milt Schmidt. And, you know, we celebrate his life, and it's not a day to be sad. It's, it's, it's the memories of a man, and truly a man, a man's man that played a man's game and he played it the right way and he lived his life the right way if we could all live such great lives as milt schmidt we're here to celebrate how great he was the opening ceremony in just a moment Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday our Bruins family lost the man we have all come to know as the ultimate Bruin, Milton Conrad Schmidt, arrived here on Causeway Street in 1936, and in many ways, he never left. As a player, Milt was a fierce competitor who centered the famed Trout line. He played in 776 games, leading the Bruins to two Stanley Cups in 1939 and 1941. And after returning from service in the Royal Canadian Air Force during World War II, went on to win a Hart Trophy in 1951. Milt would later become head coach and then general manager, setting the stage for the next two Bruins Cup victories in 1970 and 1972 as an executive. He was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1961. Milt Schmidt embodied everything we know about being a Boston Bruin, and no one was prouder to represent the organization as he had for more than 80 years. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you join us in a moment of celebration and applause as we honor the memory of a great man, the ultimate Bruin, Milt Schmidt. He was tough. <laughs> uh, you didn't want to fool him, Uncle Milty, but, but he, he's a very caring person, a gentleman at all times. Fairy tales can come true, it can happen to you if you're young at heart. For it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind if you're young at heart. The great Milt Schmidt brings the huge Boston crowd to its feet with a beautiful goal. He was one of the great players 
uh, in the history of this league, Mel Smith. From the beginning, when he was a rookie, uh, until he retired in the 50s, he was a sensational player, respected throughout the National Hockey League, and to a degree feared. As a general manager, as a coach, as a friend, he was, he was, you couldn't ask for more. He was, he was a gentleman. A gentleman at all times. Uh, loved this game. Had a great passion for the game for so many years as player, GM, coach. Uh, all those years he was around the game, he, he, he really cared. To be young at heart. And if you should survive to a hundred and five, look at all you'll derive out of being alive. And here is the best part you had a head start if you are. Among the very young and hard. It's just a class act, just a, just a great gentleman, and somebody you could go to, really basically, and talk things out with uh, on an even keel, and, and tremendous, tremendous uh, person to give advice. And treated us not like kids, like men. He called everybody men, man, men. Never hear him say anything wrong about us. You know, we all respected him. Uh, he would stand up and protect his players. You know, and sometimes he would help a guy out if he's in trouble. And you respect a guy like that. Out of being alive, and here is the best part. You've had a head start if you are among the very young at home. I have. Many great memories in the National Hockey League, but I can't ever remember any regret. Ladies and gentlemen, please remove your caps for the singing of the national anthems performed this evening by Rene Rancourt. song. 